Okay, let's start. The, oops, okay. The name of the Sloan Matthew Library has long been something. Okay, so the name of the library has been something. Okay. Even long-time city resident assume it's a run off the mill. So when you're talking about the run off the mill, you basically mean that it is quite uh, average, right? Uh, even the long-term city residents assume it's quite average, never suspecting what art treasures it contains. Okay, so in reality, uh, it contains a lot of treasures. It's like awesome, but the regular or the long-term resident assume it to be quite average so there is some type of you know uh confusion going on or probably the name is not accurately describing this library so the name of this library has long been uh not doing uh an accurate job accurate job something to this effect why because people think of it as it's quite average when in reality it's like super awesome, okay? Referred, no. Proposed, no. Misleading, not doing accurate job, maybe. Elevated, no. Intriguing, interesting, no, 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 see. Although economic growth has conventionally been viewed as the dash for poverty in underdeveloped region, okay? So economic growth has been considered as something for poverty, okay? With an although, this prescription's uh, negative environmental side effects are becoming a concern, okay? So the negative effects are becoming a concern. Seems like a bad thing, okay? However, within although, I'm sensing that these economic growth is going to be viewed as something good for the poverty, okay? Something, uh, something as benevolent. Culprit? No. Recipe? No. Panacea? Solution for poverty? Okay, maybe. Explanation? No. Refuge? No, no, not really. Panacea. Okay. Even as the economy struggled, the secretary stood by his dash long-term outlook, saying that the technology was allowing business to make deep-rooted improvements in their productivity, the best indicator of economy's ability to grow. Okay, I think it's quite easy. Even as the economy struggled, the secretary stood by his firm, you know, long-term plan or something to this effect, firm long-term outlook, right? Firm, arcane, ancient, no, sanguine, uh, wise and thoughtful, maybe, equivocal, no, 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 he's not equivocating, ambivalent, fluctuating, no, not determined, no, sanguine, okay. The villas and the compounds that proliferated during the building boom of the 1990s were something, Far too something for average means. Okay, so if they're proliferated, uh, what could villas and compounds get, uh, could be doing? So during, so the villas and compounds that proliferated, blah, 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 were uh, super uh, expensive, right? Far too dash for people of average means, far too, uh, I don't know, out of reach, something to this effect. Bucolic, no, no, no. Expensive, uh, yeah, maybe. Mundane, no, no, no. Opulent, yes. Eclectic, had a lot of right, no. Ignic, no. A, E, okay. The governor had considerable political talents. Oh, can I see? Oh, no, 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 no. I have a timer on. I have to finish them up. You have to wait. Uh, let me finish. Okay. The governor has considerable political talents, but as a speaker, he is far less dash than his opponents. Okay. The governor does have some talents, but as a speaker, he is far less dash than his opponents. So as a, a speaker, he is far less uh, effective than his opponents, whose oratorical skills are uh, quite impressive, uh, really good, you know. Unpretentious, no, 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 no. Spurious, no. Breathtaking, yeah, maybe, okay. Effective, adroit, cool, unconvincing, prolix. Too much and conflict? No, I'd write. Okay. There is no point in combining through the director's work for hints of ideological significance. Okay, so there is no point of doing something. Okay, it is unnecessary. Okay, it's redundant. His ideology, Marxist, anti-imperialist, aligned with the perceived interest of the powerless and the marginal is the dash of his films. Okay, okay, there's a lot of... His ideology, blah, 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 is the dash of his films. 
his ideology could be the source or cause of his films. I don't know. The clarity and force of that ideology are considerable, but its dash sometimes bothers critics. So if something is bothering, there has to be something negative over here, right? Who often scold the director for lacking, it's lacking something good, right? Something good. Uh, the clarity and the force of the ideology are considerable, but it's that something bothers the critic. So something bad, right? Bluntness. So it's quite blunt. Okay, maybe obscurity. But it has clarity, right? So how can it have clarity and obscurity? Feebleness. It has force. How can it have force and... How can it have force and... Okay. Both things are not possible. Bluntness, okay. So if it is blunt, and it's quite to the point and open, what could it lack? It lacks suspense? Or something, you know, which causes suspicion and, you know, some hidden stuff, which is not clear, some mystery, that kind of stuff? No, 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 no. we're not talking about clarity. Subtility? Okay, maybe. Courage? No. Uh... It is uh, his, well, what was the t first blank? Yeah, it was talking about his ideology is something of his films. What could be, uh, let's see, hidden focus. Does he have some type of hidden focus? Okay, maybe. Chief impetus, okay. Seems a bit better. Murky lessons? No, 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 no way. He had clarity, man. Hidden focus, is he trying to hide something? I don't think so. B seems to be a better answer. Okay. As the finances of the energy trading firm began unraveling, what eventually became something was the company had been concocting value out of thin air. So as the finances of the energy trading firm began unraveling, so things started becoming clear, what eventually became, uh, I don't know, visible or clear that what the company had been concocting, combining value out of thin air. Hmm. Seems like a bad thing. Thanks not to trading strategies, it prompted as a visionary, but to financial dash that turned a once solid entity into the most notorious dash in an era of corporate scandals. Corporate scandals. Okay, more evidence that something bad is up. So what can it... So something bad is happening thanks to what? Financial, I don't know, bri bribery or some uh, bad stuff, okay? And then most notorious dash in the era of one solid entity could turn into a failure or embarrassment. Embarrassment, something to this effect. Okay, failure. Omission. Uh, no, boon. That's a positive thing, debacle. Yeah, that's a failure, right? Yeah, good. Redemption. Saving from... Seems like positive responsibilities. Games. Financial bribery. Okay, maybe. Uh, vindicated, cleared from a blame. I'm looking for a word which is visible, right? Something became visible. Unmistakable. Uh, maybe. Unverified? No, no, no. They were being verified. That's not true. Vindicated doesn't make any sense. Okay, no choice. Okay, last one. Kept dash by cloying commercial radio and clueless record executives. So cloying commercial radio and clueless record executives. Already I'm sensing something bad, but let's keep up going. The American popular music scene has frequently depended on the cities at the edges of culture map to provide such much need shot of something. So this American music is dependent on someone to provide something. Something which is provide something, I don't know, uh, something good, right? Whatever the music can bring, uh, joy, pleasure, whatever that is. The momentary dash, what the next big thing is, seems to come out of nowhere. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, so this momentary something, what the next big thing is coming. So whatever this thing is, it is coming out of nowhere, okay? As if someone blows a whistle, only those in the know can hear. And suddenly rec record executives and journalists are crawling all over what had previously been... Oh! So 
I think I need to cheat a little bit and, uh, you know, probably, uh, I don't know, uh, one more minute. I hope that would be suffice. Okay, one more minute. Oh, okay. So the momentary something, what the next big thing is, seems to come out of nowhere. So whatever this is, is coming out of nowhere. Okay, as if someone blows a whistle, only those in the know can hear. And suddenly, record executives and journalists are crawling all over what have previously been an obscure locale. So, uh, this out of nowhere is something. And people, initially, there were only few people. But then, suddenly, uh all are crawl over are crawling all over for this particular case which was previously considered as obscure so this momentary i don't know uh involvement involvement of everyone of all is what the uh, oh, damn it man shut up involvement so the momentary involvement of all but the next big thing seems to come out of nowhere as if blah 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 what the next big thing seems to come out of nowhere uh, what could be okay so something next and big and whatever the hell that is so what can i put over here so <coughs> so the american music is dependent on cities to provide something good and it is kind of like interested in some stuff which is uh big or it's next big thing, something shot of, I don't know, something next level shit. Next level stuff. I don't know. I'm just reusing the vocabulary over here. Much needed shot of originality. Next level stuff. Maybe truth. I mean, are we concerned about things being bogus? Uh, okay, maybe let's keep for now. Orthodoxy. Hmm. Conventional? What the next big thing seems to come out of nowhere. Uh, it seems like next level stuff should be something new, right? Orthodoxy is conventional, doesn't seem to make sense. Truth doesn't seem to be okay. Originality. Okay. So involvement, involvement, consensus about. People are agreeing. Uh, okay, maybe. Indifference to. People are not caring. No, no, no. Then they will not be crawling all over, right? Guarant the momenti guarantee of what the next big thing seems to come out of nowhere. Which part is guaranteeing it? Uh, not really. Consensus. Okay. Uh, kept dash by clawing. Something bad. By clawing commercial radio and clueless regard executives. The American popular music scene has frequently depended on cities at the edge of the culture to provide... Uh, much need a shot of next level stuff or originality. So probably they are dependent on stuff to deliver originality. So probably they are lacking originality or, you know, having no originality. Uh, kept dash back one commercial includes regard executives. Okay. Hidebound. Old school stuff. Maybe. Liberated. Uh, that seems like a positive idea. I'm looking for bad. Obligated. So you're uh, you're obligated to do something. Kept by kept obligated by clawing commercial and clueless regard executives. The American. No, 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 no. They're not. Ob obligation is not what I'm looking for. Hidebound originality and consensus about. Okay. So I took about. I think. Uh, what? Eight plus one? Nine plus uh, one? Everybody? Yeah, go ahead, man. Uh, can you go to that fourth question? Okay, cool. Sure, why not? So, I hope I got everyone correct, even though I was... Yeah, okay, this one? Yeah, uh, why the second blank is expensive? Shouldn't it be mundane? mundane? Far too ordinary. No, 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 no. no. Ordinary is like... Uh, I mean, come on, uh, let's try to do this one more time, okay? Let's try to do this one more time, okay? Okay. So it's sad. Okay, I got it. Far too expensive. Yeah, so it's saying uh, far too dash for people of average means, right? 
So the villas and compounds are, the, I think the biggest secret over here, or the biggest clue is proliferated. So they're going up like crazy. They're skyrocketing. Boom. Actually, I, right? I thought that it is, yeah, I thought it is written like were expensive. And again, it is saying far too expensive. That's why. So the way I did it was kind of like were, you know, uh, over here I was like, yeah, it's becoming super crazy. But over here far too, my guess was out of reach or something, out of reach or, you know, uh, way beyond someone could actually buy for, especially for an average dude. But yeah. the only thing that seemed to make sense, which, which used to go with my guess was expensive. So I picked it. And over here, I was looking for something which is super, you know, expensive or super demanding. So the only thing that was making sense was opulent. So, yeah. Uh, any question regarding to other ones? Yeah. Can you explain the last question? If... This one? Yeah. Even I was struggling with it. Yeah. Uh, which blank are you not clear about? I do not understand this complete question. Okay. okay. I can go back. So even I was facing a lot of difficulty when I was doing this at the first time, to be very honest. So I'm just going to go through it quickly again. No worries. So, okay. So it says, kept dash by cloying commercial radio and clueless regard executives. Okay. So already I'm sensing, you know, cloying is just too much stuff to the point that you are irritated by something like for example uh, your mother's clawing love for you so that you're always protected and you're wearing a helmet and you don't go you don't even cross the street or probably you know wear 10 t-shirts so that you don't you know you you don't get uh, you know flu or temperature i mean this is a bit too much to the point of it's irritating, okay? So that's the first clue over here, which is kind of like negative. And then it says clueless record executives, okay? So whatever that is, it already has told me uh, two attributes. And already I'm sensing that, hey, this stuff, whatever this is, it's something which is not very, uh, you know, fine or probably it, it is lacking something, okay? <coughs> okay. So kept dash by cloying commercial radio and clueless record executives, the American popular music scene has frequently depended on cities at the edges of the culture map to provide a much needed shot of something. Okay, I mean, there is a lot of stuff over here where in reality is there some type of music and the fact that it is dependent on something to provide something. So it's almost uh, telling me that, hey, this music on itself is not enough and it is dependent on some other stuff in order to provide something. What is that thing? I honestly don't know yet. I have to keep on looking. The momentary dash, what the next big thing is, seems to come out of nowhere. So there was some momentary something, okay? It could be anything. What the next big thing is seems to come out of nowhere. So out of nowhere, uh, what the author is saying, that there is something which just basically come at the instant. It was related to the next big thing, and it just came out of nowhere. Whatever that is, I don't know. The, uh, you can say, latter passage, probably at the end, is basically giving me information what that momentary stuff was. It says, as if someone blows a whistle, only those in the know can hear and suddenly, you know, this goes with momentary, record executives and journalists are crawling all over what had previously been seen as obscure locale. So initially, a lot, a lot of, you know, most of the people were not noticing and only few, you know, which were, you know, in the near can hear. But out of nowhere, people, you know, all these executives and journals were crawling all over the place. And they were, you know, uh, treating something with, you can say, diligence or, you know, they were, you know, uh, considering it with their probably full potential to something which was kind of like ignored, kind of like it was, t uh, you know, put up in an obscure position. So the momentary something. So what could this be? So my guess was like, <coughs> okay, so this momentary involvement, something like, you know, they started involving in you know this stuff whatever this stuff is 
So <clears throat> which answer choice basically shows that all of these people were out of nowhere, out of nowhere, were really interested in that stuff, uh, which they previously thought as obscure. So consensus about it basically means that you're agreeing upon something. Uh, indifference to is basically you don't care. So this kind of like doesn't go with my answer choice. Why? Because if you are basically involving in something, you do need to care about it. This doesn't make any sense. The guarantee of is totally out of like, what do you mean by the moment the momentary guarantee of what the next big thing is? I mean, what are you trying to guarantee? Which type of guarantee you're trying to give here? That doesn't seem to make any sense, especially in the context. So the only thing which seems to make sense is, hey, people start agreeing upon something. And they were, you know, it's almost the consensus, like the overlap. People are you're agreeing on something. So, okay. Keeping G, now the question is, okay, uh, this American music was dependent on something to provide something. So right after that, it's basically discussing that there is some next big thing and uh, which is basically coming out of nowhere. So this is this next big thing is something which this music is basically not able to give on its own. And it's kind of like dependent on others to provide this next big thing. So I was like, okay, why don't I reuse this idea? I was like, next uh, level stuff, you know? Like, you know, uh, what happened from, I believe, Fast 7 to Fast 8, if I'm recalling correctly, you know, that the cars were flying in midair through parachutes, you know, crazy stuff, you know, parachutes, next level stuff, you know. And, uh, you know, even, you know, there were like uh, car, you know, exiting through this building and flying in midair and this entering in this other building, you know, all that fast level, next level stuff. So <clears throat> the author is basically saying that this next level stuff is something that this music is not able to offer. It's kind of like dependent on other stuff. So I was like, okay, this next level stuff. So originality, I was like, okay, maybe truth. Uh, I mean, the author is not basically interested in the fact that this music is true or not. It is interested in whether it's uh, you know, able to uh, you know, provide this next level stuff. So truth doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Orthodoxy, well, it might make some sense, but when you're talking about next big thing, you're basically saying that, hey, I want something new, not the conventional or classical stuff, okay? So that's why it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. So originality does seem to work. So if I come back over here, I'm looking for something like kept with no originality, okay? I'm just reusing the word no uh, or lacking, kept with lacking originality or no originality, okay? So if it doesn't have a lot of originality and looking for something negative, right? So a hidebound is basically old school and, you know, it kind of like seems like you are against new ways or, you know, next level stuff. So or hidebound does seem to make sense. It has this negative connotation. Liberated basically means you have a free mindset, doesn't seem to make sense. Obligated, I mean, there is no obligation or we're not discussing any duty over here, so it doesn't seem to fit in from any angle. So the only thing that seems to make sense is hidebound, originality, and consensus about. So I believe I have got them all correct. So do you have any question relating to these uh, questions? Uh, no. <laughs> No? We good? Uh, yes. Yeah. Cool.